We're going to take a look at Roman numerals. And the reason why we look at Roman numerals in this course is because they're part of the apothecary system. Now you've already recorded the Roman numerals in your pre-lecture notes. And I suggest you even have that list in front of you as you start practicing. As you memorize the Roman numerals and get better at them, you'll want to try to do problems without having the list in front of you. So we'll start with our basic concepts and looking at creating some Roman numerals. You may want to pause the video and try these on your own and then check your work as I go through them. So in this we want to work with one place value at a time. So first I need to create the 4. Oops, let me get my pen here. Here we go. We need to create the 4. So in order to create the 4, the closest thing I have is a 5. And so 5 is V, but I want to be smaller than that, so I put a 1 in front of it. So that creates this first place value, because I always create Roman numerals one place value at a time. Now I go over to the tenths, and I have a 0.5. That's the only decimal I have. So I put my SS. As it's mentioned in your pre-lecture notes, it's fine to use uppercase or lowercase. So either of these would be the correct Roman numeral. Let's try another one, 26. So first I need to create 20. So I need to create that first place value. So in order to create 20, I do 10 plus 10. Now I'm ready to create 6. So the closest I have to 6 is 5. And then I want to go one larger, so I put it on this side so that I know to add the Roman numeral. All right, not so bad, right? So let's try another one. This one is 73. So first I need to create 70. So closest I have to 70 is 50, so I write 50. I want to go larger, so I'm going to put my x's on this side so that my x's are added. So there I have 70, 50, 60, 70. Next, I need to go to the ones place, and it's a three. And so I'm allowed to use three ones in a row. And so I put my three ones, and I have created 53. Excuse me, I've created 73. So 50, 60, 70, three. All right, try another one. 38 and a half. So again, I need to go one place value at a time. I need to first create the 30. I'm allowed to use three of the x's, so 10, 20, 30. Next, I need to create the 8. I can only ever subtract one digit, so I really want to add to get to 8. So I'll start with 5, 6, 7, 8. Move to my next place value. So 0.5, the only decimal I have is the SS. So we've created 30, 8, and a half. Now we go a little bit harder. And so, again, we're just going to use the exact same ideas, one place value at a time. So we have 100. And for 100, we use the C, like for century. So it's pretty easy to remember. Then we go over a place value, so 60. So we'll start with 50, 60. We go over a place value, 5. We even have a Roman numeral for that. So 100, 60, 5. Okay, try another place value, the year 2014. So we're going to start with the 2000. 2000 well, 1000 is M, think millennium. So at 1000, 2000. In our hundreds place, we have a zero. The Roman numerals don't have a placeholder. So we totally skip over that, and we're already at the tens place. So we need 10, which is just X. Then we go to the ones place and we need four. We've done four before, so one less than five. And we've written the year, 2014. Now this one looks innocent enough, but I always think that the 90s are hard the first time that you see them. The temptation with 90 is to do it like we would have done in 80. And we often are tempted to start with 50, and then we get 60, 70, 80. But our limit here is 3x's, and so I really can't get to 90. So I have to erase that. That's not going to work to start with 50. 
So again, I have to think, if I can't start with 50 and count up, I'm going to have to start higher than 90 and count down. So I'm going to start with C for century, or 100, and then go 10 less than that. So 10 less than 100 is 90, just like we subtracted to get the 4 in the previous problem. Then I can move to my 1's place, and 2 is just 2 i's. Once you've seen it, they're not so bad. But let's try a very similar problem. For this one, I have to start with 900. So just how we got 90 by subtracting, we're going to get 900 by subtracting. So in order to get the 9, we'll start with a millennium and subtract a century. So 1,000 minus 100 is 900. Now I can move to my next place value. Just how we had to subtract to get the 4, we have to subtract to get the 40. So we're going to go with 10 less than 50. So I put the x in front so that I can see that it's less than and I'm subtracting. And then I can move to my 1's digit and I just have my i for my 1's digit. Are they feeling a little more comfortable? I hope so. Let's try another one. Pause the video if you haven't been doing that. See if you can do this one on your own. For this one, we're going to start with 400. So we have D, which is 500. And we want to go 100 less than that, so I put the C in front to subtract. Then I go to my 6. So 50, 60. Then I go over to the 7. So 5, 6, 7. So looking back, these two digits make up the hundreds place value. So 500 minus 100 is 400. These two digits make up the tens place value. 50 plus 10 is 60. And these three digits make up the ones place value. 5, 6, 7. This is our last one. Again, Try pausing the video, doing it on your own, and then looking back for the answer. I'm going to start with my thousands digits, so that's a millennium M. Now I move to my hundreds. I can t get to 8 by adding, so I start with D for 500, and then I'm going to add 6, 7, 800. Now 19 is always tempting to do as a big piece, but always do one place value at a time, so I need to represent 10 from my 10's place, so x. Then I need to represent 9, which would be 1 less than 10, so I put the 1 in front. So going back, 1,000, these four digits together, 5, 6, 7, 800, x for 10, and then 9 more for 1,819. Now we're going to try going the opposite direction. So I'm giving you the number as a Roman numeral, and your goal is to write it as part of our Hindu-Arabic number system. Those are the numbers we normally use. The Hindu and Arabic cultures both develop the base 10 number system with the place value that we currently use. And so for this first one, looking here, 10, 20, and then I see that the next digit is a 1, so it's switched to the 1's place, so I can write my 10's digit. 1 less than 10 is 9. All right, let's try the next one. Again, you're welcome to pause and write down what you think the answer is, and then continue the video. So this is 100. This next digit is a 1, so I'm going to have nothing in my 10's place. And then 1 less than 5 is 4. Alright, let's try the next one. So starting here, this is 50. This is 10 more, so that's 60. This is 5. And this is a half, which we can write as 0.5. Okay, not so bad, right? All right next one. We've seen this in practicing writing the Roman numerals. We have 10 and then we have 100, so that means we're going to take 100 and subtract 10 to get 90. 
We have 1 and then 5, so 5 minus 1 is 4. All right, last one looks intimidating, but we can do this. You might want to pause and try it on your own. So 1,000 millennium, 2,000, 2 millennium, so 2,000. Next, we have this D, which is 500, C, which is another 100, so we're adding that, so 600. L is 50, and then we have 10, so we're adding that, 50 plus 10, 60. And then we have I in front of the V, so we're subtracting that, so 5 minus 1 is 4. So there you have it, examples going both ways. Again, I strongly recommend that you do the practice problems in your workbook so that you're more familiar with these than just the video.